I'm afraid I'll forget to thank someone, and I am having a great day. Is anybody else here surprised today? Yeah, having a great day? So, there's a lot of people for us to thank, but I'll say thank you now so I don't forget. We all can think of a situation where we've been frustrated and then had a great idea. We thought about a way that we could do something better or different. So I don't think it's a secret that frustration lends to innovation. My big idea, what um, I do want to share with you though, is I think that the power to actually carry that through, the passion to actually do something with that innovative idea, I believe that's prompted from pain. My frustration, even as a nursing student, I was frustrated with clinical documentation. I felt like I had a choice between caring for my patients or typing about it. And what was even more frustrating was that when I needed critical information, it was difficult to retrieve. If it's even there, it's organized for the payer sources and for the attorneys, not the clinicians and certainly not the patients. As a nursing student, I wish that we could document with video so that we'd have accurate records. This was my innovative, frust my frustrated innovation. This was the best I could do, but for years I worked diligently and disgruntled, just dreaming of a world where doctors, nurses could wear cameras on our heads. I thought that that would help us, it would cause us to deliver excellent care while creating just an accurate record. I thought that video would help us provide clarity among the chaos. My pain? About the time that I graduated nursing school, my husband and I were expecting our first son. All three of my little brothers were diagnosed with Alport syndrome. It's a rare genetic kidney disease. Their illness caused my perspective to change. Prior to them becoming ill, I was a consumer. Um, I was kind of proud that I was a sponge, soaking up all life had to offer. But I watched them chronically ill and giving, dialysis patients giving to the last drop. Richard, Robert, and Jake died slow, courageous, and heroic deaths. Watching them suffer well perplexed me. They were unafraid, and they had a certainty that they would see each other on the other side. They had a confidence that it all ends well. They shared a very strong faith but a faith that I did not have. 2004, I'm standing over my last surviving brother. He's on a ventilator in the hospital where I worked. All I could see was his broken body, unable to breathe, and here I am, totally unscathed. I, I couldn't make sense of it. Um, I went for a run, and guys, it was true pain. Um, it was kind of... Um, mental pain, spiritual pain, but there was a physical pain. There was like this crushing, oppressive, just broken heart pain. So I'm running down the road and um, I prayed. Um, I prayed, if you're real, real like my brothers believe, then you created me and you're in control. F forget what I wanna do, what did you make me to be? And as I'm running down the road, I realized, Shannon, a camera can work. Not if it's carried by every healthcare provider, but if you issue a video device to every patient. So I'm running down the road and I envision this entire system, right? The device alarms if it's out of reach of the patient. It's not a surveillance camera. The doctors, the nurses, we only activate the camera when documentation is required. In short, it allows a nurse at the bedside to have instant replay, just like we've been doing at sporting events for years. Right? So I go home and I write and I draw and I write some more and CareCam Innovations is born. Those drawings, they're producing something. To date, we've had an issued patent, developed software, we have, a proto we have prototypes, um, we've had successful pilot completions, and we've had the funding required to do so. Revolutionizing documentation, um, equipping people for care, it, it's a process, and we're not there yet, but a battleship is turning, and something is happening. And I also know that um, since that run, I have had a passion that wakes me every morning. 
And lately, people have been asking us, how are you achieving these milestones? Or where do you get the resolve that you have to press on? <laughs> and my answer is that it's not ambition. It's obedience. It's obedience um, to a duty and um, a very clear purpose, a passion that was prompted by pain. And so what do I say today to inspire our future? Don't be afraid of what you will suffer. Instead, harness your pain, try a prayer, and make your difference.